So in your life, I'm sitting here, you're a, you know, you're a young woman and you've experienced some great loss. Some two of the most iconic people in the music history who you were close with to experience that kind of loss. How do you, how do you deal with that? How do you make sense of that? I mean, what, do, you, do you go to religion? Do you get angry? I mean, how? Oh, wow. Well, I mean, religion isn't something, or, or my spirituality is definitely not something I go to. It's always a part of my life. That's definitely what kept me because it was, it was difficult. Um, I think getting through losing a husband um, which that was the first time I lost someone in my life that was that close to me. Right. So um, having had to go through that and then all the public scrutiny and craziness that came with that, right. um, losing Whitney was a little bit different because, you know, it's different. That yeah. wasn't my husband and my friend, but it was, it was, it was definitely a blow because when I saw her uh, a couple of nights before she passed, we hadn't seen each other, but we had been trying to, you know, hook up and phone tagging and emailing. And then when she she was looking for me the entire night, and when she finally caught me before I went on stage, she just grabbed me so hard, like I love you so much. I wow. love. You. And I was like, I love you too. I've been looking for you, and it just felt good to just see her and just the feeling we had. I mean, we we were like we. It wasn't an industry thing, you know. And we didn't hang out every day, but when we did, it was I'm calling you. I'm coming around the corner and sit in the backyard and drink some wine, and we just gonna kick it like two Jersey girls. Right. You know, and our, our daughters are the same age, and they kind of grew up, you know, having having a friendship. So um, she was very special. 